Okay, so what we've got here is uh, the equivalent circuit of a long transmission line. If I send a pulse from a Morse key, then you can see on the upper trace of the oscilloscope the pulse from that Morse key. And if you look at the output, it looks as though nothing has been received. So if we now magnify the received signal by a factor of 10 and do that again, there's the transmitted signal as a nice square wave and we can just begin to see the start of a received signal appearing at the other end of the line. Now that is with this trace magnified by 10 compared to the upper trace. Let's increase that now to 100 and have another look. And this time we can see that there is a signal being received, but not only is it very small, it's also no longer a square wave. Instead of nice sharp edges, the waveform has actually been spread out and is far more curved uh, in appearance. The spreading of the pulses is a problem because when you're transmitting the speed of your transmission, you can find that one pulse, one dot, will merge into a second and a third. So whilst you might be sending three dots, the letter S in Morse code, actually what you might receive at the other end would appear to be just a single continuous waveform or a dash. And that means that you're going to have to transmit at a far slower speed with a long transmission line. So Oliver Heaviside did a more complete analysis of transmission lines and he discovered that what really matters is that the resistance, the conductance, the inductance and capacitance need to be in a specific ratio. And if you can achieve that ratio, this spreading effect of pulses will be greatly diminished. Now with the circuit we have here, we can demonstrate that because by flicking these switches, this will change the value of the capacitance in this case so that all the other components match the heavy side equation. Now, let's have a look on the scope, what happens when I send a signal down our transmission line. And immediately what you can see is that the input signal, which is still the same square wave it's always been, but the output is now following exactly as a square wave the input. There's no spreading of the signal. We still have attenuation. These two traces are still magnified by a hundred times. We still have attenuation, but that spreading problem has been completely eliminated.